he had began suffering with unexplained seizures, digestive issues, and cataracts. Doesn't matter where you start at. It only matters where your heart's at. You got a chance for to take that. There's no time just to waste that. See, we only get one shot. Like we only get one life. And even when you get beat down, come back like the sunrise. Everybody wanna tell you Everything you can't do They ain't never step foot in your shoes I'ma tell you Anything you want You can get it Chase your dreams Like you really can't lose All you gotta do is get it Shoot for the stars Don't give in All you gotta do is stay driven Focus on the mission Man, they just lack ambition But you, I can tell you Got a vision So follow your dream Hey, what's up Auspicious family? Welcome to another Auspicious vlog. So, um, today we are going to talk about something very important. I think that um, we've already mentioned it to you guys a couple of times already about Rady's uh, Hospital, uh, which, is, um, which is responsible for uh, Baby Bear Project, which is what gave Nathan his diagnosis. And this is very important. We want to talk about this because if it wasn't for this program, we would have never found a diagnosis for Nathan. There's so many babies right now in the hospital, in the NICU. There's so many families there right now as we speak. And right now they are feeling what me and Pam were feeling in those first couple of days uh, with no answers as to what's wrong with our baby. Now, if this is your first time here, um, we're a special needs family. We have uh, baby Nathan right here who has a rare genetic disease called cutisoxin type 3. And then I have my older son who is 11 years old who is autistic. Uh, now, now that you're caught up, uh, this is a very important video and I wanted to share it with you guys real quick. And if you guys have a chance to share it, I really appreciate it. So. This new program is called Whole Genome Sequencing and it is being funded through California but every year they have to apply for this grant in order to continue this work. We're not uh, working for you know this company or, or with Rady's uh, Children's Hospital however they were so touched by our story that they continue to reach out to us to see if uh, we're interested in showing our story, you know, allowing them to post pictures and videos about us. We gladly do it because of how important it is for people out there right now who are seeking answers. Now there is a show on Netflix called Diagnosis and we've watched it and it makes me think about how many people are out there who are undiagnosed. And if this can actually bring answers to a family, then it's absolutely worth it. So whole genome sequencing, that's what it's called. It's the Radies Hospital in San Diego. And um, this is called the Baby Bear Project. So there was a video that was shown to uh, California uh, lawmakers. This video was shown and I wanted to show it to you guys so you guys can be aware of our story if you're new here and if you already know us uh, so you guys can be aware of how important this is. Anyways, that's enough. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show it to you guys now. So, enjoy. He was admitted into intensive care moments after birth, weighing only 2 pounds and 15 ounces. After spending two months in the NICU, he had began suffering with unexplained seizures, digestive issues, and cataracts. His condition puzzled doctors, and every test failed to offer answers. Our first hope appeared when our son transferred to Valley Children's Hospital in Madera. 
Doctors there told us about Project Baby Bear, a state-funded program to help critically sick babies in intensive care. Baby Bear Project has been very important for us because Valley Children's Hospital is a level four in ICU, which means that we get referrals for very complicated babies from all the valley. And uh, these little babies, many of them come with uh, congenital malformations or congenital defects. If not for a baby bear project, we would still be looking for the needle in the haystack. I would be blaming myself for his health. We're happy that we know what it is now. I think the Project Baby Bear is a wonderful opportunity for families like ours to seek the answers and the help that they deserve. That video is very, very powerful. Uh, I was told by uh, the representative that talks to us through, um, through email how much uh, Nathan's story has moved a lot of people. It's a story of, you know, being lost and finding hope. If you're in the hospital right now and you were looking up uh, diagnosis or rare diseases or whatever and you stumble upon this video I want to let you know that you're not alone and that I know how it feels my family knows what what it feels like and um, I hope this is able to give you at least uh, some hope uh, to reach out to these people which is uh, Rady's Children's Hospital and uh, research whole genome sequencing and in the hopes that that would help you um, we're always available to talk if you have something to talk about, um, you know, any questions that you may have or any, you know, anything that, that piques your interest. We're here for everybody here. Um, and Nathan's very talkative today. Right, Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. It's a quick video. Uh, I just wanted to, to really emphasize on how important this video is to us. It was sent to us and me and Pam were both in tears because it kind of shows, again, it reminds us of where we were and how difficult it was for us not knowing what was wrong with Nathan. Um, you know, how difficult it was not getting any answers from anybody. Um, however, now that we know the answers, we, we're not happy that Nathan has something really rare and there's no cure and there's no treatment. However, at least we know. At least we know what it is and we're able to raise awareness, we're able to advocate, we're able to move towards a goal. We have the needle, is what I always say, we have the needle in the haystack. We found it, now we have to find out what to do with this needle and we're going to continue to fight. We're going to continue to raise awareness and we're not going to stop. Right, Nathan? No, we're not going to stop. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and roll in the shout outs for this week. If you guys want to get shouted in our next YouTube video, all you got to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a nice positive comment down below. Well, that's it for me and my family. We appreciate you guys watching this. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about anything regarding Nathan's disease or any questions for us, especially parents, we're more than uh, willing to talk to you and give you 
as many answers as possible. Head over to our Instagram page at Auspicious Mondo or my wife's Auspicious Pamela. Well, that's it for us today. Remember, you are auspicious. See you guys next time. Say bye. Ooh.